Hey everyone, welcome back to CAD Show, your go-to spot for everything design and technology. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to download and properly install SketchUp 2026 step-by-step step so you can start modeling without any issues. Don't skip ahead, the setup part is important. Part 1. Downloading SketchUp 2026. First, open your browser and search for Download SketchUp 2026. Click on the official SketchUp website, which should be the first result. I'll also leave the direct download link for you down in the video description, so you can get there faster. Once you're on the site, you'll see several download options, for Windows, Mac, or even the offline installer version. Before you start downloading, there's something very important to check. Quick check before the next step. Make sure your PC meets the setup requirements. Part 2. Checking System Requirements to run the 2026 version smoothly, your system must have certain framework files installed. Checking this is super simple. Go to the Start menu, open your Control Panel, then click on Programs and Features. Here, you can see which versions of the .NET framework are already installed. For example, you might have version 4.0, but SketchUp 2026 needs version 4.5, 2 or higher. If it's missing, don't worry, you can use the online installer option. That way, the setup will automatically download and install all the required components for you. Keep watching, we're about to start the main installation. Part 3, Installing SketchUp 2026. Now, let's choose Download SketchUp 2026 for Windows. The download should start automatically and the file is about 1 GB since it includes both SketchUp and the necessary support files. Once it's done downloading, locate the installer file and double-click to run it. Wait, a few moments for the installation wizard to load. When it appears, make sure to keep all the recommended boxes checked. This ensures everything installs correctly, including the URA add-on if you want to use it later. Then click install and give it about 5 to 10 minutes to complete. Don't go anywhere, I'll show you the activation steps next. Part 4 optional URA download. After the main installation finishes, you'll see a window offering to download the latest version of URA, a rendering plugin. If you'd like to install it, just click download and it'll take you straight to the official website. The file is around 1.2 gigabytes, so depending on your internet speed, it might take a few minutes. For now, I'll pause that download and continue showing you the final setup. Almost there, let's open SketchUp and sign in. Part 5, Launching and Signing In. Once SketchUp 2026 is installed, click Finish and you'll find the icons on your desktop. Open SketchUp 2026 and it'll ask you to sign in. You can log in with your email address or Google account, whichever you prefer. Accept the terms of use, click Continue and that's it. You can now minimize your browser and start using SketchUp 2026's free version with all tools and panels fully enabled. Want to keep SketchUp free after the trial? Don't miss what's next! And there you have it, that's how you can download and install SketchUp 2026 correctly on your computer. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to CAD Show, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next tech and design tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.